A single figure dominates, his back to us. Feet dancing over the foreshortened field without raising a sweat in carnival clothing. Shadows of the ploughman's legs softly shade the furrows. The horse raises a leg, his tail threads a beautiful taste of straw. Sailors crawling the rigging of the closest vessel are busy with their tasks to hand, as Bruegel's figures usually always are. Feathers floating from the sky give away the game. The ship sails below, but not one push of breeze disturbs the precipice. The fisherman is concentrating on the sea, now an uncanny green, and the vacant shepherd gazes the other way. Accidents happen. The world of the peasant seems timeless. The future is presumed to resemble the past, while the present marinates in work and sleep. I count 27 sheep, but I'm not at all drowsy. The paint energizes, makes a splash without a sound. Sunrise is floating, yet floods. His work insists on accepting every moment. Every inch of a Bruegel breathes, even the reticent skull ditched in a wild copse. Even the stubborn details, partridge, belt, beaker. And no guest appearance from the old gods, or Christian angels, nor invention or ambition. His paintings are interactive. They require exploration. The main event is elusive or absent. Culpability begins with not seeing, not asking. What's happening in the cities surfing the bay? What's worth knowing today? Have you forgotten? Everyone who hears his poem is going to die. <laughs>